My name is Slava Spector. I work for the Aerospace Corporation in the Space Materials Lab, and I work in the Propulsion Science Department, and I lead the Electric Propulsion and Plasma Science section. Well, very simply, electric propulsion is technology that takes electrical energy and converts it into thrust to move space vehicles around. Aerospace Corporation has been involved with electric propulsion development uh, for at least a few decades. Uh, our forte is development of the electric propulsion diagnostics, and we have developed a very comprehensive uh, suite of the electric propulsion diagnostics to the point where now we are the go-to place to test electric propulsion devices. And so most of the electric propulsion devices that are currently in orbit or are being developed uh, for flight come through our laboratories because we have some very unique facilities. This is an anechoic chamber, a room, uh, and in this room we have a fiberglass chamber behind me here. And the reason we built this room with this vacuum chamber uh, here is so that we can test the electromagnetic interference coming from an ele uh, electric propulsion thruster, which we can install in this chamber and operate. And so as a consequence, almost all thrusters uh, that needed to get that information, and if you launch, you need that information, um, uh, came here for testing. An example of an electric propulsion device is shown right here. This is called a hole thruster. And uh, this is about a two kilowatt laboratory model of a hole thruster. You can think of this hole thruster as a really fancy fluorescent light bulb. You apply electrical energy to the thruster and you supply some gas, just like uh, there is some gas in the fluorescent light bulb. The electrical energy that you supply will break the gas down uh, into the plasma, and so you'll have ions and electrons that will uh, be inside this device right here. And then electric field will pull ions at a very high velocity in that direction away from the thruster, thus producing a force on the thruster in the opposite direction, creating thrust. The reason that it is important to have electric propulsion uh, as a technology uh, is because it can do something that chemical propulsion cannot do, which is uh, to expel particles with much more energy per particle than you can ever get with chemical energy. Uh, the reason you use electric propulsion is primarily because of the efficiency. Uh, it's a very efficient process. It uses very little gas. So the, the propellant you use is much less than chemical propulsion. That makes a lighter spacecraft and provides more uh, room on board for revenue producing products. You know, it, it's all about the cost per pound of getting to orbit. And those costs are enormous, but with electric propulsion, uh, you, you can reduce them uh, fairly dramatically. We continue to work on electric propulsion because it's got new avenues of, uh, of research all the time. I believe that the technology will continue uh, to, uh, to be utilized more widely. Um, the, the applications uh, will, will continue to grow and the technology will continue to improve. Uh, the future of electric propulsion, I, I think, uh, is going to be that all propulsion systems on, well, most propulsion systems on, on board, on, in orbit, will be electric. So electric propulsion is undoubtedly the future of space transportation because primarily of its efficiency. I think many companies and many uh, government entities as well realize the potential of electric propulsion and we can see that again uh, with different companies um, adopting the electric propulsion and as a matter of fact adopting the all electric propulsion concepts for their satellites. Pretty much every company that's making their own satellite is moving in that direction of using electric propulsion right now.